Alright everybody, welcome back to some McGrathy Plays. We're on my second channel of the Dicking Around channel. Uh, we're not playing TFT today, we're actually playing some modded Minecraft because uh, I enjoy modded Minecraft. Also, my seven-year-old son has started playing Minecraft and he likes watching Minecraft videos. So if you're watching, hello Edward. I kind of wanted to make a series that was about modded Minecraft um, and that sort of taught someone, very much like my son Edward, uh, how to play modded Minecraft. Let's just pretend you're seven years old and you don't know anything about modded Minecraft, but you've seen some videos mm -hmm. on YouTube and you're like, oh, modded Minecraft looks kind of cool, but I don't know what to do and everybody who plays goes way too fast. Well... I'm going to try to at least, for the first of this, for the start, um, go a little bit slower, explain exactly what I'm doing. And sometimes I'm going to go into creative, and I'm actually going to um, recreate the things that we're making and slowly explain how all the machines go together before we make them in survival so that you can sort of see um, how we're doing things. So I don't know exactly how this uh, series is going to go and uh, what's going to work, but now we have this beautiful sunrise, so it's a good time uh, to... Go ahead and start. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to press, uh, what was it, Skyblock, right? Skyblock. And we went to the GUI. We're going to create a new team. It's going to be called McGrathy Plays Team. Uh, we are going to use the Cozy Cottage. Uh, we have several options. The Anarchy, which is just a piece of, I think it's bedrock, um, and then dirt and then tree um a, a little too simplistic for me maybe the classical you know sort of a, a five by five or five by three block or whatever uh, of dirt on and with a tree on it um and then we've got the dire wolf which is this sort of uh basement cobblestone thing i actually don't mind this and if i was playing just by myself i might just play this because it's uh, i, I kind of like it it's kind of cool but it's got a lot of cobblestone in it, and when you're recording a video and you're, you know, looking at walls of cobblestone, it's a little much. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this cozy cottage, uh, which is, it's just nice. We're going to sort of walk through it right now. Here we are. Um, so you can sort of see we have this beautiful house, uh, really, really well made. I really like it. We've got this little sleep, sleeping corner. We have a little uh, safe room here as well, so I've been going up in here. Um, I actually started this series yesterday. <laughs> Uh, but for some reason, my uh, my microphone did not record. Uh, so I do have a little experience with the early game here. Um, and of course, I've played modded Minecraft for many years, and I've played Skyblox and all that. So a lot of the systems are the same. But uh, yeah, I did play this yesterday. Uh, and unfortunately, um, for some reason, when I restarted my computer, uh, OBS thought that I was using some other kind of microphone. And so even though I could see my microphone moving, uh, it didn't record. So let's go outside and let's check this out. So if you're new to Skyblocks, like my son Edward is, um, you'll be asking yourself, uh, where are you and why is there no world here? Well, this is what we call a Skyblock. It is a version of Minecraft that is uh, almost entirely played in the sky like this. Uh, you have no world underneath you, no world above you. Um, there usually is uh, a nether and an end world and all that kind of stuff, and they, they it varies based on all sorts of factors, uh, what's in you know what's in them. Uh, but this is sort of how it all starts. We start uh, on an island, and in this case, we have uh, trees and uh, sheep and a horse and cows and chickens and all sorts of stuff. But it starts like this, uh, and it very much is about uh, learning how to play uh, like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is probably light up the ends of this world. So how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So let's let's just light these areas up like this because uh, we do get hostile mobs spawning um, and we don't want to die accidentally to a hostile mob that uh, runs into us and uh, surprises us. So yeah, let's go ahead. We have a lantern there, but yeah, we're gonna keep torches as well. Um, I think there's one area over, uh, see I can turn the lighting on, but it actually doesn't show because it's daylight. Um, but there is an area back here, I think it's under this tree maybe, 
uh, that gets shade. I'm not really sure. I'm going to put one torch up there. That's my last torch for now. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do before we get started is I'm going to take out all of these uh, bushes here and I'm going to grab all of these. I have Ultimine uh, or Vein Miner, uh, which is a key that you can hold and you set it up in your config. Um, I've set it up to my left alt key. And basically, instead of punching one block at a time, you can actually hold the alt, which will punch all blocks that are connected that are the same kind of block. And so, you know, you can see I can punch out half my house here. Uh, or more commonly used on things like trees, where you can see the outline here is going to take, you know, all of these cherry leaves or this entire cherry wood tree. Uh, the, uh, the, the stuff on it. So that's what Ultimine does. Um, uh, also leaves and stuff but it's also good for things like um like this where i might be able to mult ultimine this whole thing all at once uh, i can do this as well the grass seeds and whatnot um, but i can get all my wheat all at once because i'm basically ultimining the whole wheat farm all at once which is um yeah super handy also i get some seeds so i can actually uh, replant everything oh that's an oak sapling not a seed whoops i don't actually want that there that's for sure uh, CD place, yeah. So let's plant these again. I kind of just did this to show. I didn't really want to take all this out, but uh, that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and replant all this, and then let's get started with the basics of how we get started with Minecraft, uh, specifically Minecraft, modded Minecraft, and uh, sky blocks like this. And most sky blocks that you're going to uh, see have some kind of variation on this. Um, whether it's uh, getting materials this way or not. But this is sort of the, the basics. Now, I have a uh, barrel here and a chest here. I actually want to take my barrel, and I'm going to put all of my, say, flower-type stuff in here, my organic stuff. Um, that means all the seeds, the eggs. I'm going to put that all in here. That's because I don't need them right now. Um, I don't need these wheat seeds. I don't need this wheat necessarily. I'm going to use this probably for feeding the cows and breeding and stuff like that later. But for now, I don't really need it. Um, I also don't need this watering, uh, this watering can here. Uh, I do need my stake and I do need my seedling, or sorry, my saplings, uh, because actually I can leave this over here. Uh, I'm going to be chopping down this tree now. I showed you about the Ultimine, uh, so let me oops, uh, let me show you what I need here. If I go to Options, and if I go to Controls, and if I go to Keybinds, this is how you get to where all the keys in modded Minecraft and Minecraft in general are, are found. Uh, you can search for Vein Miner, and if that doesn't come up, you can search for Ultimine. So this, this one's called FTV Ultimine, and this is how you set the key. So you can click here, and then you just pick a new key, um, that you want to use for ultimate. Now, keep in mind that this is a key you want to hold down as you're punching the trees or whatever you're doing. So I'm actually holding down the left alt key right now and you can see the uh, at the at the top left hand side there, it says FDB Ultimine is active um, and it'll tell you how many blocks, 54 blocks here, six blocks, uh, you know, here at 64 blocks, that's the maximum. Uh, so here, this is basically all the dirt and if I did this, everything would fall down through the sky. Uh, so we don't want to do that, um, but this will basically, you know, it will break all of the blocks that are attached and of the similar or the, the same kind of block. So as I hold the ultimate and I hit my tree, obviously all of the logs come out of the tree. And then we have uh, a mod called, uh, I think it's called um, Fast Decay or something like that, Fast Leaf Decay. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to pick up these last little petals too. Um, and that fast leaf decay is responsible for the leaves uh, despawning uh, very quickly or falling down very quickly. Um, that just makes it easier to get all of these stuff out of those rather than rather than waiting a long time for all that. So here's basically how you start any of these sky blocks. And we also have uh, a twerk mod on so you're uh, you know you're twerking. <laughs> That's going to uh, grow your trees. I'm just hitting shift obviously to, to get that um, and if you hold shift enough you you might get windows um, if you're on a windows machine yelling at you about your sticky keys. Uh, do you have sticky keys? Oh my gosh what's going on? You can actually just dis disable that uh, so you don't have to worry or hear about that. I have actually disabled mine but every once in a while I've noticed that some other thing pops up uh, that keeps telling me uh, that I have something going on when I'm hitting my shift key over and over again so I don't 
quite know what that is yet. Uh, it looks like that is turned off in my computer, but I still get it, so I'm not really sure. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to get a bunch of these, uh, and then the next step, obviously, is to get some stuff. Um, we've, we've now got a few logs, not a lot, but a few. So let's take, you know, a few of these logs and let's turn them into planks. Now, the first thing you always want to do is make a crafting table. Uh, and actually, if you put a crafting table in a crafting slot, you'll get a crafting station from the crafting stations. Now, I'm going to show you the difference here real quick. And some of you may already know what this is. But remember, I'm not making this video for someone who's played a lot of Minecraft. I'm making this essentially for my son, who's seven years old and has never played this again. So if you want to skip forward 30 seconds, go ahead. No problem. So in the crafting uh, station here, I can make some chests. But you see, if I get out of the interface and I go back in, that chest recipe disappears. And what if I just needed to grab, oh, you know, I forgot a thing. I got to pick it out of here and then I kind of come back. Well, that recipe doesn't stay. And so all of your items go back. It's not so hard when it's just a, you know, recipe like this. Uh, but let's say I'm just missing one piece and I want to come back. It's not on this crafting station, uh, the crafting table, but it is in the crafting station. You see, I can go in and out of this interface and you can actually see visually that the logs are sitting on the crafting station. This is true for any block in Minecraft that uh, that you can put in a, in, in a slot like this, uh, which is really, really handy. I think that's uh, really nice and that's why this crafting station is uh, one of the better things that, that you can have. Now, that being said, I'm gonna pick up this crafting station right now and I actually wanna make something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make I'm going to need a bunch of sticks, so I'm going to make 40 sticks. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick and I'm going to take my crafting table and I'm going to make what's called a crafting table on a stick. Now, I can carry this in my inventory. I can keep it in my offhand if I want, right? If I keep it in my offhand and then I'm using my axe, I can actually right click. And now I have access to a 3x3 crafting grid like a normal crafting station, but it's just in my hand. And this is great. Now you might be asking yourself, "Aha! Does it hold your, uh, does it hold your recipes?" Uh, and the answer is no. It does not. It does not work like a crafting station. But I don't think you can do a crafting station on a stick. So, yeah, you don't have that luxury. But for everything else, it's you know, it's it's pretty good. Uh, so what I want to do now, I want to go ahead and put down some more saplings. I'm going to put this crafting table, uh, crafting table on a stick into what's called a bobble slot. Now this is another thing in modern Minecraft that if you've never seen before, you might be confused about. But right next to your profile here or your avatar, you can see I've got an attributes area here, which is pretty cool. I can see sort of all my attributes. Um, you've got a sounds screen here as well. So you can search like zombie sounds or uh, uh, you know, maybe I don't want the uh, pig sounds. Okay, so we can actually take this pig sound and we can turn all the pigs off. So I will no longer hear pig sounds. They don't snort, they don't walk. I don't hear any of that. Um, but what I really want is this sort of circle star thing over here. This is called your bauble slots. And if you look carefully on the bottom left, you'll see there's a crafting table on a stick or crafting on a stick area. That means I can put this right there. And then just like I did before, I can go to my controls to the keybinds. I can search for a stick, open crafting on a stick is my T button. So I've already set that up. And so when I hit T, there you go. We now see that we have a crafting grid on a stick and it's in my bubble slot. So it's not even taking up my inventory slot. Now you saw me just move all these things automatically. What was that? Because that's not in regular Minecraft. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go and just run around and make sure that there's no, but now that it's dark, I'm going to go carefully run around and I'm going to make sure that there's no spots where mobs at least on the ground, uh, can spawn. And it doesn't look like there are any more. That's really good because I want to be able to work at night and not worry about, you know, a skeleton spawning. Now, the only problem might be is on the roof. I don't know if there's any spots up there. So what we can do is we can actually go up there and let's check. So let's check our roof. Let's just go all the way up. Now, you see, there's some spots there. I need to get up there and I need to put some uh, some things up there. Now, I don't have access to that right now. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go like this. I'm gonna fall onto the roof here. 
I'm going to fall. They're not spawning now because I'm pretty close. Uh, so they don't spawn within 16 block radius of you or something. Uh, so I'm just going to go to sleep and just make sure that uh, nothing spawns up there. Uh, and we'll go up there a little bit later when I have just a little bit more... Um, when I have some more uh, torches and some light, and I'll go put them up there uh, later. Okay, let's keep going now. So, we know how to get lots of wood. This is essentially, you know, an unlimited supply of wood, and you could do this all day. In fact, I've spent many hours just... See, there's... The... I don't know what that is. I have sticky keys off, but it still shows up for some, for some reason. I, I don't really know why. If you know, let me know, and I will fix it. Uh, yeah, I can make unlimited wood like this, and this is great. But it gets a little boring, and I'm going to need a change pretty soon, or I will likely go a little crazy. Well, the next thing we want to do is we want to get some more resources. Uh, and in particular, I want to get some cobblestone, because that's kind of what I'm missing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mention how I did this. Yes, uh, so... If I have an inventory like this and it's kind of messy, I can actually put my mouse anywhere in this inventory and just click my middle mouse button and it will organize all these things. I think it organizes them by the uh, invisible you know, item ID that each item has. Uh, but that's how you can order this, uh, this up. And this is the same for a chest as well. So if I go over here and I move some stuff around, I can actually just hit that button, the middle mouse button, and it will it will move them around and for the most part this is an extremely good thing to have uh, and i use it uh, quite often um because it's very very nice uh now there are limitations i cannot do this uh in some guis it just doesn't let you uh some machines and whatnot won't do it and for some places you actually don't want to do it because it will uh it will affect your game negatively you can you can put things in the wrong spot and you can lose stuff uh, fairly quickly, which uh, which isn't fun. So don't do that everywhere, but uh, do keep that in mind. I use this all the time, and it's um, it's super nice. I don't know how you can customize this. You might be able to customize this to say, you know, sort by the amount of things you have. You, you can do an A to Z thing here as well. So instead of hitting middle button, you can actually just hit that, and that will do it. But um, yeah, I don't know if there's another way to do it. All right, let's have a little bit of steak here because uh, we are low on health, and that's draining our hunger. Um, and let's go and look at what we need to do next. So let's take a look. We've got our crafting table on a stick, which is great. Um, but we need to get some uh, cobblestone. So what I'm going to do for cobblestone is I'm actually going to walk over here. I'm going to get an empty hand. You see I have nothing in my hands. And I'm going to right click on the ground. Uh, sorry, I'm going to hold shift to uh, actually makes me crouch. And then I'm going to left click. Uh, sorry, right click the ground. This is going to let me get some pebbles. Uh, whoops. There we go. This will give me some pebbles. Now, I have to have an empty hand in order to do it, which uh, is fine. But see, now a granite came. And so now I got to take that out of my hand and do this again. And I can hold right click and it will just sort of slowly get me um, some resources. Uh, but these are just pebbles. What can I do with those? Well, what you can do is take these, put them in your crafting inventory, and you can actually make a full item. So there we go. I can make cobbled deep slate, which is great. Um, this works a lot like cobblestone, and you can use it for most things. Here's andesite. So I can get some andesite. But this is kind of slow. If you've got an inventory full of these, it's a little bit slow to just one at a time take your pebbles and put it in here. So what you can actually do is, again, hover your mouse over a stack of something that you do want to... Uh, this is called compressing them, basically. Uh, you can basically compressed by hitting K and the K button will automatically compress any of those items into their compressed state so the blackstone there you go we got two blackstones from the nine blackstone pebbles and we still have a pebble left over uh, which is great so this is how we're gonna get this but my inventory right now is really messy I got a bunch of stuff I don't really need them here's what I'm gonna do and this is what you should do to make this just a little bit faster Put everything away, except for your pebbles. You can actually keep the pebbles. Oh, no, not the logs. You can keep the pebbles. But what we're going to do is we're going to go outside. Now, I have a Logitech mouse. Any advanced mouse or gaming mouse or that kind of thing, you can do this with. Um, my gaming mouse that I have is or it's just a Logitech, not really a gaming mouse, but a Logitech mouse. I have what's called a macro, and the macro allows you... 
uh, to do different things when you press buttons. So instead of just you know left clicking or right clicking things, I can tell it to do a whole series of things. But what I can do is I can make them do a, a simple click many many times every second. Uh, and so what I've done is I've just I've just made a special button on my mouse, and what it does is when I press that button, it's going to right click a whole bunch of times because I can sit here and I can. Uh, I can mash my right click button a whole bunch and yeah, I'm gonna do a bunch of pebbles and, and life is good, but that's gonna take a while and I don't wanna take too long um, because it's, you know, I don't wanna take too long. I just don't wanna do that. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually, I'm gonna organize my inventory like this. So now I've got granite pebbles here, diorite, three rows, andesite, three rows, basalt, three rows, deep slate and blackstone, three rows of each. And then I've got uh, my stone pebbles, which I'm going to get the most of, uh, and I'm going to put them there. Now, I'm going to hit my button that hits my macro, and it's going to, you can see, it'll give me a lot more per second. And I don't have to sit there and click. I just have to hold the button. So I'm right now holding the shift and the uh, macro button on my mouse that will activate this macro. And so I just sort of have to chill out, and I can... Uh, I can Press that button and it will click. And if you're doing this for a long time, you can put on YouTube in the background. You can watch me on YouTube in the background and you can click this and it will fill up your inventory pretty quick. You can see here, I've got quite a bit of stone. So all you wanna do is just continue to put the stone um, in in your inventory like this until everything except for one is, uh, is full. Now, if I try to right click with a pebble in my hand or with a block or anything else, it won't work. You have to have an empty hand and that's why I'm leaving this slot open because this will give me an empty hand to then click uh, and, and you know use my macro and get a lot more. So this is me holding the right click button and this is me holding my macro. You can see there's a big difference and you don't actually have to pick them all up right away. You can actually hit the macro key and let them fly out into the wild. Uh, the problem with this is that you might start hitting the uh, entity cap and they start disappearing. See that, how they start disappearing? So you actually do wanna pick them up, otherwise they will, you'll, you'll be wasting some of those pebbles. They just, they won't end up in your inventory. So I've got a bunch here. I'm gonna continue on, uh, but I'm gonna just show you real quick that you can do the same thing with all these other pebbles as you do uh, with the stone and such. So if I hit K, you can see it turned 64 into 16, and that's because 16 times four is 64, uh, sorry, 64 divided by four is 16. Uh, and so that's how that's happening. So if I just press K on all of these, that's what's going to happen. I'm just hitting the K button and mousing over each of these stones, each or each of these pebbles, uh, and this is what's happening. Now, if I hit K over the andesite, we can actually get polished andesite. Oh, and we have a friend already. Hello, wandering trader. So. If you've played Minecraft, you know what the Wandering Trader is. In this Minecraft version, this modded Minecraft world, he can actually get some really good stuff. Oh my good lord, look at this. Fortunate Diamond Helmet of Health. Good lord. This is, uh, these are really nice. Uh, all of these things that he sells uh, are, are pretty good, but he, he sometimes has these. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to use this because there's no way for us to get 30 d emeralds and 5 diamonds uh, in a short amount of time. Um, certainly not while I'm recording and streaming this. So unfortunately, this is just going to decay. The Wandering Trader will eventually um, despawn and, and he will just be sort of gone. And that's unfortunate because that's... Um, that's a very rare and very good item that I would love to get. I just don't, I don't have the time uh, to be getting it right now. So we're going to go back, uh, back to this. Uh, you can see, yes, yeah, so this is, you know, the polished version. And that's because if you take andesite uh, and you, you go like this with them, that's what you get. So when you hit that K button, basically what you're doing is you're putting them all in. And here, now I can make polished deep slate. I don't actually want to make that because uh, I don't want to do a bunch of that. But this is how you can... Uh, you know, you make polished basalt, etc. Uh, you can also use this over here. Oh no, this is the botanist workbench. I thought this was a. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, we have a cabinet here. That's kind of cool. I like these cabinets. Maybe I'll use some of those cabinets. We have a gift as well. If you're on a, we are on the multiplayer server. Actually, we're on the McGrathy server, um, so you could actually send people a gift. Uh, oh man, I'd really like to get this helmet. It looks so nice. Uh, but yeah. Never mind. That's fine. I know, Wandering Trader. I would love to keep you, but uh, uh, I really, I really can't, unfortunately. Okay, let's keep moving on. Um, the next thing that we're going to do uh, 
uh, is go into our quest now you will get a quest book uh, if you press this button and you can access this GUI as well by just when you press E you can actually hit it uh, there uh, and then there's a whoops there's a second uh, part over here that you can actually just keep that open uh, but this is all the mods 9 to the sky this is the modded mine pack uh, modded mine craft pack the mod pack <laughs> that we're playing uh, and so here's the quests now if you're used to vanilla minecraft this will be kind of weird to you this is um you know uh, not the normal way to play minecraft but the developers of mods have decided that a quest pack is a good idea because there's a lot of quests to go through and a lot of things you can do um and just this really helps you with getting through it um teaching you you know the getting started tab here will show you how to get through a lot of the sort of mechanics and the processes that you need to go through to get certain things um so yeah that's really really handy i mean it shows you basically this is where we start here on the getting started we get some steak right and it just tells you if you've played the original you know if not don't fear so these are the quests that you're going to go through as you play the mod pack and as you progress and so if you're new to modded minecraft this is what you can do um, now some of you might notice oh let's uh, let's go sleep some of you might notice that it's kind of dangerous to only have one uh, tree sapling because what if you break the tree and then you don't get another sapling you cannot get another sapling normally through the game you but you can go through here and you can get an emergency sapling you can actually only get one but you can get it I'm actually gonna leave one sapling in here when I take all of this out um, but yeah this is gonna be sort of I, I might even leave like five just in case um, because this is gonna be my sort of backup if nothing else i will have those i'm actually going to keep some wheat seeds as well as an egg and i'll put these here these will be my backups uh in case i lose my chicken now you'll notice i have a chicken a starbuncle here a horse i have cows and whatnot that are uh penned up over here um i even have one of these whirl springs um <laughs> here's the sad thing <laughs> uh, after a while you'll probably notice that the starbuncle is gone and so is the horse it's really sad but they're probably gonna die they're probably gonna walk off the edge uh, and they're gonna be gone which um, is pretty sad uh, you know let's be honest nobody wants to see that that's really sad uh, but it is what it is they they do sort of wander and then you know they might just wander out of range actually I have a I have a, an axe don't I what's this this is attack damage of seven okay this is nine so this is actually better um, here's the other very sad part <clears throat> I really like our wandering trader and I'd really like to have this item but I can't so the other thing I need is leather and a lead which means, unfortunately, for this llama, I'm going to have to slaughter them. Sorry, llamas. You guys like to spit. But this gives us some mystical agriculture stuff and a bunch of leather. And the leather is what I really need. Now, the lead is also really good. And that's because uh, I can actually, if I go to my crafting table and I search for a... Let me just get a fence because I don't think it works on these other fences here. If I just get a fence, uh, oh, we're missing planks. Oh yeah, that's right, because I left all my wood stuff in here. Uh, yeah, sorry, let me get my planks out. Um, yeah, we can make a fence. We can have a few of these. And then what I can do is I can actually, let's just do it over here. I can put my fence down and then I can grab my horse with the lead. Uh, hello? And I can lead it here. Wait, where's my... That... It didn't work? What? What? Where? Where did my lead go? Why are they on the ground? Come over here. What? Come over here. Oh, you're being sneaky, huh? I don't know why that's not working. Uh, do I need to make him happy with some apples first? Does he need to be my everlasting friend forever first? Let's go see if we can give them some apples and make them happy. There's all my apples, friend. 
Do you wanna do you wanna be my I bet it's because he's standing on Oh sorry! Oh sorry! Oh man, I stepped in the fire then. That was probably deserved. Okay, I bet you because he was on there. Yeah, it was. Okay. Now I can actually take this and I can actually lead him and hold him to that. So this will essentially keep him from, well, Peter Panning off the edge, which you might be asking yourself, oh my God, McRathy, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> fall off the edge? Well, this is what happens. You fall into the void. Oh, <laughs> apparently because I'm on a server, uh, it kicks you for flying. Even though I'm not flying, I'm actually dying. The server thinks I'm doing something illegal. Uh, even though it's just falling. But that's okay. I can actually turn that off uh, in my settings of my server. I'll do that for next video so that doesn't happen. But yes, you can fall. And then this is what's going to happen. Well, I mean, you won't get this if you're playing single player, but... Uh, Basically, you fall through the sky, you'll fall back through the, the top of the world, and you'll land back on your island, and you'll take a whole bunch of damage, but it shouldn't kill you unless you were already uh, missing some health. So, let's just see here. We're going to fall down back again. Oh, yeah, it's going to kick me again. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to have some iced coffee to make myself feel better. Hopefully I don't end up in a loop forever where I'm just falling and uh, can't move. I think I should be able to just, I'm just going to hold my W and my D key to try and move myself over the terrain before I fall again. This is annoying. Uh, how long is this going to take? Awkward. Awkward turtle. I hope everyone's enjoying this video so far it is a little bit slow in the beginning you know i apologize about that uh but as you can see yeah there we go all right we've fallen we're down and uh yeah we didn't die uh but we we, we did take a lot of damage like i said oh this guy's still here and i love that helmet but i can't get it um yeah we did take a lot of damage uh but we're we're still alive which is the most important part oh i actually see that we have another sheep now too did we get a natural sheep come here friend come over here how did how did we get a natural sheep and now can i uh hmm, let me think about this for a sec how can i make sure that this guy doesn't go the way of the dodo uh i have some more fences here let's actually make a couple more fences uh, let's see, oak fence here. Uh, do we not have that stuff? Here we go. Uh, I'm going to make five of these. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to actually... This is the way to do it. Oh, where's my... Where's my sheep? Hey, sheep. Where are you, friend? I'm going to go like this. Then I'm going to go find my sheep. Where is it? Where did you go? Are you still in here? Nope, that's my bed. Which looks like a sheep, because it's made out of sheep. You're still here, thank you. I don't think we can attach you, can we? No, we can't attach that. Where's my natural sheep? Where did you go? What? D but There's two there. And there's... N oh, there he is. I see you. You're a sneaky one. Come on over here. Come on over here. I know I'm holding an axe. Sorry, that, that seems... Oh, now I'm holding leather. That seems actually somehow more egregious. Uh, let's actually take this and this. And that, let's actually move these over. I, I just want to... I want to fence him in. Uh, because, honestly, I just don't... Uh, I don't trust him to not uh, run away. Uh, dude, can you come here, please? Can you Can you go this way, please? Can you go this way? This is a lot of effort for this sheep. All right, I'll tell you what. You stay there. All right, we'll get that later. Okay, let's continue with the pack. So we were talking about how to get more 
um, more things, basically. And this is how you do it. This is how you make uh, more stuff. Let's take our uh, chests out and let's start making some spots for things. So I'm going to take these out. I really like those, but I got to take them out. I like this fireplace as well, but I'm going to take the front of it off. Uh, I'm not going to take the rest off. I'm just going to take those uh, corner pieces off here. And they're actually framed slab edges uh, from the frames mod and then some mud brick um, facade on them. Maybe what I could do actually to make it look nice uh, let's do this. Let's put one here and one here. I think this will look really nice. And I can actually take this out. Oh, this is a, uh, this is something that I need a pickaxe for, but I don't really want this. I don't like this plant. I don't like that thing. I can actually take these out and, uh, we're going to take the mud bricks and I'm going to put these back on. So this sort of looks like we have, you know, something going on here. I'm going to go ahead and take this off as well. Uh, I will probably replant this or put this lantern up here just so we have more light in the building. And then, I, you know, I, I think this looks okay. It looks fine. I'm going to use this sack as sort of the mm, stuff I don't need. I don't need any of them. I don't need the hedge. Uh, those are not useful to me. Uh, I don't need my quest book either, speaking of. Uh, this quest book is, by the way, if you... Uh, if you missed it, I grabbed the quest book from hitting this button here. Uh, I got the quest book there, um, but I don't need to right-click. If I right-click, um, you can see I, I, it takes me to this as well. But remember, we actually bound that to my tilde key, um, so I don't need this. This, actually, I can take this. I don't even need to store it in a garbage box. I can actually go Peter Pan that off the side, uh, and that, that will just go bye-bye forever uh, because we don't need it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have some oops, have some steak now. Should fill me right up. It sure did. Uh, not quite time. Well, I think we could sleep now. No, it's not quite time for sleep. Okay, uh, I want to put my mud brick in here because I don't need that, and the orange seats and the red seat. I don't need any of those things, so we're gonna put them all away. But what I do need is I need to do something with all this cobblestone and all these things that I got. So I'm gonna start by putting some chests down. Now I think I, I'm gonna put them right here just so we have some space. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want them to be attached. Um, yeah, I want to put the chests like this and I'm gonna put the crafting station right in between. So uh, let's, let's sleep really quick and have some uh, delicious beverage. Ah, my wife just brought me uh, another delicious beverage. So thank you very much, I was very thoughtful. Uh, let's take our crafting station, and I'm going to show you another benefit of these crafting stations. All right, we have two chests here. Let's put all of our stone stuff in here, uh, just for now, just to show you something. And let's put all our wood stuff in here, uh, and the leather, and the inferior. The egg we'll put over here, uh, and let's take all of this, let's take all of this stuff out, um, except for these which are our these are our backups we can we'll keep out the eggs here because if we lose our chickens to something um at least we can go back here and have a chance to get more chickens uh, i think that's important um but let's put all the stuff that has to do with wood so the hoe the uh, actually put this axe in here as well and uh, let's put everything that has to do with blocks and building over here now they're separated you we can't see them both at the same time but if I right click on the crafting station, I can actually see, oh, this uh, doesn't work properly. I need to actually break this one. I need to put it down. I actually had, excuse me, I had this in my last world and I just needed to remake the chest and then it showed up properly. So let's see if this works. Oh, it didn't work for some reason. Well, I think after we sleep or something, it'll go away. But if you use this crafting station and you have a chest next to it, you will actually be able to use that chest um, to craft things. So you can see now in my inventory, I have nothing except for a stone ax and a stake. I can't make anything. Even if I pull up my crafting table on a stick, I can't make anything, but I can right click on this crafting station and I can actually start to make stuff. And one thing that I wanna make is called a crook. Now, we don't have any sticks in that inventory because it's actually not seeing these sticks. So for the time being, I'm gonna put all of this in here, uh, except for my stake and my ax. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanna do. Um, 
because it's not, I don't know, it's not picking up that inventory. So, but you can see here, it does pick up that inventory. So I can actually uh, craft this, uh, allegedly. Oh, there's something really buggy with this. Okay, this is called a crook. Now we're gonna make, uh, let's see, oops. We're gonna make, why is this doing that? Why is that doing that? That's, oh, wait, 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 why are we? Wait, how are, we're, we're duping things. That that was like, seriously, I was duping them. Oh, we have more sticks than we, okay, something's really wrong with these boxes and I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna take all of this out. That was really strange. We actually duped these, uh, which means duplicate these crooks. Um, but now you can see we only have two again. So uh, maybe that was a server thing. I'm not really sure, but that was that was really strange. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff in here because we actually don't need this right now, uh, but I do need some saplings. So these are the five backup saplings I'll leave there. And the rest I will come out in here and we will get uh, we'll get going with this. So again, we can twerk to get these working and we get that horrible thing. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Uh, let's take our stone axe. What it gave us, this is, what? It's really weird. Okay, uh, what I want to do, I have all these leaves here, um, and I don't want to shear them. I actually want to use my crook on them. Look, I only have one crook now. Uh, okay, weird. Uh, I'm going to ultimine these leaves, and you'll see what pops out is this silkworm. Now, that doesn't always pop out. I got a little lucky. Uh, the last time I played this, I had to do almost 10 saplings, I think. It was quite a while. Uh, before I got that uh, to work. Oh my gosh, this is super annoying. I don't know why that's doing that. If someone knows, uh, please let me know. Uh, yeah, I, I just really, really annoying. Uh, okay, we have a new tree here, um, and I can actually put this silkworm in the tree. So if I put it right there, if I right click, you can see this is starting to change color, and at the very top it says infested leaves. Progress, 80, 90. 100%. So this is fully infested. And what it's going to do is it's going to spread to some other leaf that's close to it. Okay, so it, uh, yep, it went obviously up this way. Now this was infested. Now they're both going to infest another one. So we're basically going to infest this whole tree. Now what I want to do is make more trees. And I kind of want to make a line of them so that they'll all get infested. Uh, maybe that's too close. Oh, did you? Wait. Whirl spring token obtained by growing a tree near a wild whirlwing. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to just make sort of a line of these things. Uh, nope, that's not too close. Uh, and we want to let that one silkworm infest a bunch of these trees. Oh my gosh, that annoying sound. Uh, maybe this is not working because it's too close to the house. There we go. Uh, let's try this again. I think this is too close. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, and we got the sapling back. That was very strange. Um, pfft, I don't know. Well, let's, let's build one over here. And then let's see if we can connect it like this. Will you grow? You will. Oh, and I got squished. Now, these trees are not connected, so we're going to need to try to make another tree. I don't know if this is going to... Okay, it worked. Yeah, this should do fine. So... We've now made a huge line of trees and we just have to wait now for them to all get infested. You can see here, these two trees are now fully infested and it's starting to just slowly work its way uh, over this way. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this crook that we made uh, and we can actually, we've got a bunch of sticks so we can actually make a few of these. Uh, let's make four of them, I guess. Okay, we'll make four more of these and, uh, oops, we want to do this. Um, and so when we use this, we, you know, again, we hold, we hold the Ultimine button. And uh, if you didn't see that, the, the crook broke, but because I have more crooks in my upper inventory here, we have these uh, 10 times three upper inventories, uh, or the, sorry, nine times three, uh, because I had a crook in this upper inventory, when, when that crook broke, it automatically pulled a new crook 
from that upper inventory into the inventory slot that I was currently holding, uh, which is really handy because uh, that's really nice. Uh, you run out of something, and as long as there's another one in your upper inventory, uh, you will pull it down and be able to use it again, which is uh, which is great. We're going to wait now. I want all these to get fully infested before I do any more, so let's go inside and let's talk about what we're going to do next. I want to take this crafting station out again, and I'm... I don't know. I don't know why that didn't work, but I'm going to put that down again. Um, and what I want to do is I want to get some more wood like this. And actually, I'm going to get those chests back. I'm going to press T for my crafting station. And we're going to make some of these things over here. So we made the crook. We got that. We can get that out of the way. I want to make um, some barrels, which are this. Uh, although, no, not that. Okay. We need some planks. So I'm going to get six of these planks, uh, and then I need some more. I'm going to probably make this many. I need some more of these. Oops, I got too many over there. Uh, okay, we're going to make two of these barrels. So this is basically how we're going to do it. I can shift click, and that will make the, the maximum number of uh, things that I can make in that inventory. Uh, so in this case, it's two. So I'm going to try with barrels here. And let's see if we can make this work. So if I put all this stuff in there, are you happy now if I take this and put this here? Can you see both of these? All right, that looked like it worked, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna take my crooks back, and if you wanna take all of them, uh, or send all of them, you can actually hold uh, shift and control. We'll move all of one kind. You can see it moved both of these. Um, you can move them up into an inventory or back into your inventory. Uh, with using that shift click. Now, I need these crooks in my inventory because I need them uh, to actually do the next part um, with those tree leaves, but I can leave them there. Okay, I need this crook as well, and I want to put all of these, remember, in my upper inventory. You can do that by, again, shift, control, clicking, uh, which will move them all from the lower inventory, your active hotbar, to the upper inventory. All right, now, how are we going to get more items? Uh, you'll remember that we have a lot of cobblestone right uh, but we need more than just cobblestone we have to actually get what's called an oak sieve now we can make two of these that's a good start uh, and I'm gonna put them one here and one here actually for first uh, let me take this back I'm gonna take one there and one here and I'll show you why in a second but I can't do anything with these sieves. What I need to do is put some uh, gravel through here and uh, and we can get materials. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you gravel. And by the way, this is what's called JEI. This is an interface that shows you if you, you can search for basically anything you want in the uh, in, in that's in the game that's available to you. And you can search whatever you want. So in this case, I'm you know, searching for wither. I can get a wither rose. Well, if I left click on it, it'll tell me how to get it. And if I right click on that item, it'll show you what you can make with it. So what you can build with it, left click is how you basically get it, okay? So I can actually take this sieve and uh, if I go into my JEI, I can actually click on the oak sieve. I can actually right click on it and I can see what I can make with it. So in this case, I can make a flux sieve or I can use the sieve. These are all the things that all the sort of similar items. Um, and you can see that with a string mesh and crushed blackstone, these are the items that you'll get when you're sieving. You can have different kinds of meshes. You can have uh, netherite, diamond is the, sorry, netherite's the best, then diamond, then gold. You can have iron, flint, and you can have string mesh. Uh, and then as you go up, you know, crushed deep slate will give you all of these things. And this will tell you what the chances of are uh, of getting these things per, per piece of, you know, in this case, crushed deep slate. Now, how do we get crushed anything. Uh, if you remember here, these are all in just regular cobblestones. So what gives? How do we how do we make something with it? Well, we need what's called a stone hammer. And if you see this hammer here is not like a regular hammer. Um, it actually is a little bit special. So let's go to sleep real quick. Am I going to have a drink? Oh, it's exhausting on the mouth to talk this much. Um, my son has a friend who's nine years old and he talks constantly, literally all day long. It's insane how much that little kid can talk. Uh, I'm surprised his mouth hasn't fallen off. Uh, I've been talking for 
uh, 49 minutes and I'm ready to, <laughs> my mouth is ready to fall off. Uh, okay, so we have this stone hammer and we have some cobblestone. And what you actually need to do is when you take this cobblestone out, you can actually break it with the stone hammer. So if I break this, it actually turns into gravel. Well, that's interesting. Uh, and if I take this and I hit the gravel, it's going to turn into sand. And if I take the sand and I hit it with the stone hammer, I'm going to get dust. Okay, now, I don't know what this Zycraft thing is, but dust is the end of this line. If I put the dust down uh, and I hit it with the hammer, I'm going to get the dust again. It doesn't actually go further than that. But remember, there's a couple of ways to get faster because that was really slow. That took me, you know, 10, 20 seconds to get one piece. And we need to sieve a lot of this stuff. But if I take this dust over here, um, well, I can't make it yet, but let's make the string. Uh, I need to make a string mesh. I can probably make, oh yeah, it, just two of them for now. Uh, if I put them in here, I can actually sieve this dust. And that's just by right clicking on it and holding down or clicking and you'll sieve. Now, I got nothing out of that one dust. Well, that's really annoying. Uh, it's a low chance to get things. So you're basically going to need to do this in bulk. You need to do a lot of them. And what you can do is you can actually hold your ultimine and you can actually do this uh, with all of your pieces all at once. And that's really handy, but it gets better. So here we have four pieces of sand. And this gives us four pieces of dust. Now we can go over here and we can uh, very slowly, and you can actually see it's actually going on both of these uh, because they're so close to each other. Uh, we're actually going to get both. So we got four pieces of dust. We sieved them two at a time, which is really nice. Not one at a time, two at a time. And we got some stuff. We got some bone meal. We got some grains of infinity, a certus coarse dust, a gunpowder, and a sky stone dust. Great, you might say. That's amazing. Let's go finish the game. Well, not so quick. That's not so great, and it is very slow. So we actually have a better way to do this even further. Remember that button K on your keyboard that would compress those um, the pebbles into your cobblestone? You can actually take your cobblestone, and you can fill up your crafting inventory. All nine will give you cobblestone 1x, which is essentially compressed cobblestone. So instead of there being you know one block here if i put this down and i hit it with the hammer this is one block of of the cobblestone 1x right if i uh oh yeah i need the compressed hammer uh let's talk about that later but if i if i hit this you, you'll notice my regular hammer doesn't work and i need something called a stone hammer uh, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can make that. I actually, or the, the compressed hammer. I'm actually going to need nine of these. Oh yeah, we got lots. One, two, three. Actually, I'll just do this. Uh, so this will make six because six is the maximum amount that it'll go through. But if I press shift, they will all get made at the same time. And then I can take all of these hammers, put them in, and I get what's called a compressed hammer. Now this compressed hammer can go through these compressed. So that was one block of compressed uh, compressed uh, cobblestone, but I got nine blocks of gravel out, and you guessed it. If you go like this and you hit K, you can actually turn this into compressed gravel, and then you can hit that, and then you get nine sand. And you guessed it, if you do it again, you can turn that nine sand into compressed sand, and you can use your compressed stone hammer, and you can get nine dust. So now we're actually going a little quicker than before even now we got nine pieces and that took about the same amount of time as doing one piece before so now we're already nine times as efficient as we used to be so as we go through these you know we got some more things we got some glowstone dust which is new and then we got four gunpowder two of these surface quartz three bone meal etc so doing things in the compressed format is way more efficient so we have some of these compressed cobblestones but let's do the rest so let's press k on this stack K on this stack, and we end up with five cobblestone and 18 compressed cobblestone. Now, here's the best part. You can actually put all of these together like this. And you don't have to make a wall with them, but, but you can. As long as they're touching, uh, you can do them all at once with the vein miner. So you can put all of these down. You can vein mine them. And then, boom, look at all this. Look at all this gravel comes out. Amazing. And again, you can compress this gravel, right? And you can get, you can actually go one more. You Now we have 18 of these. But the reason I like to make a wall is because we can make this even faster, which I know is crazy. But if you put a piece of stone like this 
and you put two pieces of stick, you can get what's called a stone wand. And with a stone wand, if you're close to an item or a, a, a block, and you have more of that block, right? We have 13 gravel here, and we've got five here. You can actually just right click, and it will actually bring all the blocks from your inventory, uh, and it will try to, it basically, you know, fills in that, that spot. So now I can very quickly um, go into my crafting, I can do the sand, I can end up with these nine, oops, I can craft them all down to 18, and then I can, you know, put a few down, I don't need to put them all down, I can put a few down, and use my stone wand to fill in the rest really, really quickly. And so now you can see this is how we're getting, now we have three stacks of dust, and that's almost as fast as we did them before, but it gets even better. Instead of mashing my right click button and hurting my 43 year old hands, remember the macro out there? Remember this macro where I had my mouse and I can get a bunch of stuff like that? Well, you can actually do the same on here. And you can see if I put it in here, it goes through really, really quickly. Look how fast I'm going through this dust. It's still only two at a time, but I'm going through this stack of dust way faster than I was before. And I can just hold this button and it will just pull all the dust from my inventory through this and again I'm only holding my macro button and it's just doing this for me this is just one way we can save a little bit of time doing this now it gets better because that might take a while but as you can see here now we got a lot of stuff we got a lot of bone meal we got some redstone now uh, we've got uh, you know blaze powder you know this is starting to get pretty cool we can you know start to make stuff with this now uh, and what we want to do I'm gonna uh, oops I'm gonna put these away uh, these pebbles because I, I don't want the pebbles in my inventory right now. I do want the cobblestone, but I don't want the pebbles. Um, I actually don't want any of this stuff, but it, it's fine for now. What we can do is we can actually, you'll remember both of these are connected here, but I can do more than two connected. Um, I can actually make a lot more than that. So what are we missing? Okay, we're missing those blocks. So let's go ahead in here. Let's, uh, let's just take all of these and let's make a few more. Let's see, like maybe six what does that give us 36 uh we're gonna need more than that actually we're gonna need uh i think 50 in total so there we go there's 60 uh we can we can keep that extra one there that's no problem i can actually put these back in this inventory because i don't need them in my personal inventory remember to make these so let's go up again to this and now we can make 14 of these uh so you guessed it i can actually put all of these together there's 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 of these together i can make a 4 by 4 i'm even going to go further i'm going to make a 5 by 5 and this means that when i hold my dust and i stand here oh i don't have the string yet <laughs> let's go get our string actually because i think we have oh yeah i got a hook crook there already uh, all of these should be done yeah look at down this line this beautiful gray line of of uh, ugly trees now I can actually just I can actually get all the string by just ultimining I'm breaking my uh, crooks but that's okay we have lots of crooks uh, so I can go ahead and just ultimine all of these get all the string for it uh, I have I still have crooks in my inventory and then I can go ahead and oh not the stone hammer I don't have my axe well we'll we'll pull these down later oh there's still another one here hello great now i have lots of string and that's really handy oh hello you're still here he goes away after 40 minutes by the way so this is why we we can't really use him because uh it's just yeah it's too slow uh but let's go ahead and let's and this is how you make that mesh sorry if i didn't show that before um, you basically just put all your string in you can balance the grid which is a new thing in modern minecraft you can spread the grid which will spread it all out uh, and basically now we can make these now i don't actually need 27 uh, this is a stack. They come in stacks of 16. I already have two. Um, so we actually don't need that many more. We actually only need seven more. Whoops, I took eight by accident. Uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's go through here and let's put these in their spots. Uh, where's the 15? I guess it didn't pull the last 16 for me. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and take all this out. Uh, and we can go ahead, not that one, let's put it in this block box here. We can uh, put all of the stuff we don't need. Uh, and these silkworms, actually, I want to keep those. I want to keep them over here in my backup. 
Because what if we need more silkworms, right? Okay, it's starting to get late. Uh, not, not quite. Okay, let's go back to our dust. Oops, I put the dust away too, didn't I? Oh, no, where did I put the dust? All right, here we go. So we got all this dust. I can actually just use my macro on the whole thing. And now you can see it's doing 16 at a time. So it does a stack in like three seconds, which, which is awesome. Uh, we can go ahead and put all these away. And now you can see after just a little bit of time, we've got a bunch of redstone dust, skystone dust, which if you don't know what it is, you can actually press A, which will put it up here on the side. This is how I've got all of these things up here. And then you can actually, you know, click it, which this is how you get it. You can see we got it from the sieve, uh, but you actually right click it and it'll show you what you can make with it. So these are used in the mega cells you can see here, which is a mod that I haven't ever played with, but applied energistics you need it for. Uh, more mega cells, mega cells stuff, uh, more mega cells stuff, more mega cells stuff. I don't know if it is used for anything else. Extended AE for a wireless connector. That sounds amazing. So there are uses for this, um, but it doesn't seem like it's something we're going to use right away. Um, so we don't need to worry about it too much. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this in here as well, because I don't know what this is. It is now at officially nighttime, so we're going to go ahead and sleep. We've also been going for about an hour, uh, which means I probably will wrap this up fairly soon. Um, but by the end of this video, I really want people to understand how to get these basic resources. And then in the next video, we're going to show you how to get some more advanced resources and really start uh, upping, upping your game. So I actually don't want to do this. Let's go back and let's fill this out. So how many do we need? We need four. Uh, we have one, two, three, four. So we need uh, nine more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to, to finish this out. Uh, so let's go to oak. Oh, we don't we don't have any sticks. Okay, so what we can do, we're probably gonna need some more trees, actually. Let's go outside real quick and let's go chop down these trees and let's get my steak while I'm at it. Uh, I think that went in here by accident. Uh, let's go ahead. But you, you use up your hunger and your thirst by uh, ulti mining as well. So when I was out ulti mining all of that uh, string uh, or all the uh, the leaves to get the string, that's why uh, that's why I have no uh, no hunger bar left uh, because that's that's what happens. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're gonna ulti mine all of these trees, uh, well, all these uh, logs that are left from the trees. Oops, I moved. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get all these. And then I think that's probably sufficient. And I don't have any more saplings anyway. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to press this again. Oh, yeah. And let's get, uh, let's just get a bunch of sticks. Like, we're going to need a lot of sticks. You know? So let's go ahead and move these over here. Um, there's no good way to move them really quickly. But that's okay. This is, this is fine. And let's go ahead. Let's, again, we're going to use this trick where we put, even if there's 12 here, we're still only going to be able to make nine of them if we hit shift because there's only nine of this item. So there we go. We got nine more. And then the rest of the items just sit there and wait till you're done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this is a five by five. If we go ahead and get our uh, the last mesh, remember we have one extra mesh, which is fine. We will actually use it in our machine later. Uh, but this is now a completed five by five. This is how big as it gets. It doesn't get any bigger than this, unfortunately. Uh, well, I mean, do you really need it? To, do you really need it to get much bigger? Um, probably not. Uh, but that's okay. That's uh, that's how this works. Uh, if I can, I press K on this. No, I can't. I've actually got to bring this in my inventory and have that have that crafting grid ready to go. So I'll put this back in here. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff together for the next video. Uh, because we're running over one hour and one hour seems to be the sweet spot where people will watch enough and we've gone through enough of this video and maybe you want to watch and then you want to do it and you want to sort of catch up so I don't want to go too long uh, so I'm going to end the video here but before I go this is what I'm going to do I promise by the next video I'm going to get a bunch of resources all this boring stuff over here where I'm taking these saplings where are they <sighs> these oh where's my saplings in here I think uh taking these saplings um and uh, we don't need a crook anymore either. Uh, taking these saplings, growing, making a bunch of logs, uh, and uh, you know, twerking and, and doing all this. I'm gonna do this off camera. 
because it's just not it's not that interesting watching me do this i'm gonna probably do a couple of hours of just uh, getting some materials i'm gonna get a bunch of logs i'm gonna get a bunch of cobblestone i'm gonna get a bunch of stuff uh ready and then when i come back we'll be able to instead of watching me do this for an hour uh, we'll be able to jump right back into doing some more fun stuff and showing you how to play this mod pack so i will um Yes, I will uh, let you guys know how to get on this server if you're interested. This is a public server. Uh, it's under the McGrathy Plays name. You can probably search for it on public uh, server information. But um, I will give you guys the link if you want it. Just uh, message me or uh, put a comment on YouTube. Let me know that you want access or you'd like to play. Uh, and then I will I'll make this available. I'm not a network specialist or a security specialist, so like... I don't know, people might come in and they might break things, um, and that sucks, don't do that, just, you know, be cool, if you're allowed, you know, if, you're, if you can be cool, you can be allowed on the server, if you're not cool, we don't want you, just, uh, you know, don't watch my videos if you're not cool, and you're not uh, willing to help and be, uh, you know, supportive, if you just want to be a dick, like, go somewhere else, uh, there's lots of uh, dumb things that, you know, people will let you do, uh, we're not one of them, be, be cool, and we'll we'll all be cool as well. So I'm going to get a bunch of cobblestone. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of this. I might make some more. Um, I'm going to eventually put um, barrels or something all around the outside here. So I'm going to make a bunch of storage. Basically just advance. Uh, I'm not going to advance any of the quest stuff. Uh, any of this stuff really. Um, we've already done some of them. And by the way, if you if you didn't know, um, you can actually... Um, yeah, you can actually... Oh, well, there's some sticks and some stuff. Um, you can follow these and you do get some rewards. So you get some XP, you get some, uh, there's some you know, compressed stuff. You can basically walk through all of this, these things here and get all of these uh, things. I will do them afterwards though when we have a little bit more. I'll sort of do a, uh, sort of all at once I'll do that. We have an Efficiency 3 book, which is nice. I'm going to put this in my, in my special spot over here. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to go get a bunch of resources, get a bunch of wood, get a bunch of cobble. Um, maybe put some barrels down here so that we have some extra space to do stuff and then I will be back so that's my promise to you I will be back first of all and I will uh, be ready to just do some more fun stuff instead of uh, showing you some of the basics I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I hope you guys have learned something um, if you uh, want to uh, like I said play on this server with me and my astronaut uh, outfit um, just send me a message uh, or like I said uh, comment down on the YouTube and uh, yeah I'll make that uh, publicly available I'll probably talk to someone to make sure I don't leave it out uh, uh, too difficult or too easy to um, you know mess with the server but yeah I will make that available and then we can all play together thank you very much for watching this video I really hope this has helped and Edward if you're watching because this really is for you I don't really care if anybody else watches it. This is really for my son, Edward. Uh, I love you, and I hope you enjoy this. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe you're watching this when you're older because you forgot what your old man sounds like uh, when you're off to university. That would be cool. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned something. Um, and, uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video once I've done a little bit more work getting all these materials together. Thank you very much again, and we'll talk to you in the next video.